Hello world, it's Rational Pi, and we are here today to go over what's called the generic search algorithm. Exciting. Okay, so why do they call it the generic search algorithm? Well, it's generic. I know I'm some kind of computer genius man or something, but no, uh, the reason they call it the generic search algorithm is because what it does is it's kind of like the basis for all the other search algorithms that the agent Python code wants to perform. So instead of basically reusing every step every a single time, it now can just call back to the generic search and then just use the new applied rules based on the different uh, search algorithms that we're trying to perform. And we'll t uh, talk about here in a second. We're going to get up to the point where we get to the NQ. Uh, I don't want to throw too much information in one video. I'm trying to break these up as much as I can. So this is probably going to be about eight to ten minutes um, with some information on the generic search algorithm. So let's go ahead and get started. So one thing in Python that you got to understand is that if there is a definition in the beginning piece of code that is called from another piece of code, there, the one that you originate in is the predecessor or the one that takes priority. So we're not going to be starting in the generic search algorithm, we're actually going to be starting in the A search which is right here. So definition in it starting right here. It creates a new agent. This line is crucial. So why do I have it definite definite? Okay. I wanted to explain this real quickly. So generic search algorithm dot in it. Okay. So now we're going to go back to the generic search algorithm. Okay. So when we're here, okay, we see the in it again. So now we see search in agent dot in it. Okay. Now we go find the search agent. So search agent, and this is agent brain in it. Well, agent brain is another piece of code entirely. We're not going to get into that unless you guys want to, and if you want to, I can absolutely do that. But it's just another piece of code that's absolutely important um, to create the agent itself. So we're going to leave that alone, but just know that we had to keep going down before we could get to this, uh, and that's the most important thing. In fact, this is even more basic than the generic search algorithm uh, because this has now parts in every single piece below it. So let's go back to the generic search. So self the back pointers. Okay, that's what this is here. It's going to reset the back pointers. Basically, we're resetting the whole thing because we don't want anything from our previous go around to last to this go around. Because if we did, then it could create some weird results. And then it's going to call the reset. Okay. So one thing you got to understand at this point, it would actually go back then to the A star search but it's still, uh, there's nothing here. So it's gonna go ahead and call the reset of the generic search, which it's gonna do here anyway if we just went ahead and went forward in the code. So, so to the generic search reset. We're gonna be doing a lot of back and forth, so I hope this makes sense as we're going through. So we're done with this, let's go down to the reset. So it's gonna reset the agent, it's gonna reset the parents, it's gonna reset the queue, the visit, the end queue, the back pointers, the goal, it's gonna set the goal to none because we technically don't know it yet. And then it's, it's gonna set the heuristic to the Manhattan history, heuristic. So, but in rational pi, I don't see that in the code right here and where the reset is. Well, this is while talking about prioritization. Now we're gonna to have to go back to the A star search code. And then we see here self.heuristic is equal to the Manhattan heuristic. And again, the Manhattan heuristic is the addition of the current position you're in subtracted from the total number of rows. So, or rows or columns. Like for example, if you're on row three and there's eight total rows, then you're gonna have five as your heuristic plus the difference in the columns as we just did with the rows. So then we're gonna go back to the reset and then we're gonna go ahead and move on to initialize. And I didn't go into anything with the initialize in our flowchart here because all it does is it collects the information on the actions that are possible, which is one, two, three, and four, which is left, up, I'm sorry, right, up, left, or down. That's it. And then it's gonna go straight to the get next step. And that's where we are right here. So what do we do in get next step? We noticed that there wasn't a get next step definition within A star. So we're, all the information that we're going to do is going to be based from the generic search algorithm code. So what this piece is going to do is it's going to initialize a list of cells between the length or the origin and the target. So basically all the nodes from the origin to the target that we're, we're heading to now. 
And then what it's going to do is we're going to backtrack from the target by setting RNC to the target uh, RNC when RNC is rows and columns respectively. And then we're going to do a while loop that says while the target row and column is in the back po pointers list, it's going to add the target point to the back, point back pointers. It seems kind of redundant here, but what it do effectively does is it may it's basically a check. And if without that check, we may not be 100% sure that's in the back pointers queue. And then what it does is it's going to do a, a if statement and it says if we find the starting point, which means the point that we originated from, then we're going to return the last action because we don't want to repeat ourselves as much as possible. There's a couple instances where you're going to have to repeat yourself, just like if you uh, corner yourself. But we're going to try to avoid cornering, our, cornering ourselves, and we're going to avoid returning back to our original uh, place. However, if it's not the starting point, then we add the target to the list of cells from the origin and the target, and then we've satisfied our while statement, and then we're going to add uh, that to the uh, list of back pointers, and we're going to return it because now the current point we're at now is now part of the back pointers, which means it's now part of the path that we've already taken. Makes sense? If not, comment below and I will explain it to you in a video comment. Technology. Okay. So, clear as day. So, here's NQ. And real quick, uh, we're going to stop here, but the NQ, we do know that there's an NQ in the A star algorithm. So, what it says here is self.q.append the cell. So basically we're adding the cell that we're at into our queue or into our fronts here, excuse me. But what we're going to do down here in the A star is we're going to add a cell with a heuristic uh, value. This is where the heuristic really comes into play is once you get to this NQDQ, get action, get next action, uh, act, so on and so forth. Because this is where um, the A star sets itself apart from the generic search. Uh, without the heuristic, it's just basically deciding what the shortest path is. And with the shortest path, you can eventually get to a point where two paths kind of have the same value. And then the robot doesn't really know what to do. So without that heuristic, uh, or adding the heuristic rather, will actually make it to where it's much uh, more efficient and you make sure you get to your goal node. So we're gonna go ahead and end the video here today. Again, if you have any questions at all, you can comment below or you can get a hold of me on Twitter or on Facebook, and I'll be more than happy to explain what's going on as best as I possibly can. Uh, I hope you guys are enjoying the series so far. Uh, once we're done with the next uh, video, once we understand more about the uh, generic search algorithm, we'll go back to the actual MBA conferences and see how we're going to utilize this information to create better divisions. I promise we have not lost our original goal. So. A like and subscribe is always appreciated. I will see you guys in the next video.